All right, episode 69 is in the books. This is take 75 of uh, our little intro okay. session here. Um, yeah, we wax philosophical on the UFC front. Talk about Aladdin and uh, Tesla? Tesla. Surprise, surprise. Tesla's back. Again. Yeah, again. Again. So, um, sure. Uh, merchandise. Yeah, pick up some teas on Teespring. Support the podcast by picking up tea. Go shop.com or also alternately. Oh, like like share and subscribe? Yep, yep. And uh, we're still looking for those video battles on YouTube. I don't think they're. They're, they're not as popular anymore, right? I don't think anyone does. No, no, he does. Remember there was like YouTube rap beef battles. Uh, that's still going on, probably. Oh, really? Oh, okay. We're just not. We're not. That's with the young kids. Mm, true. All right, so we're YouTube rap beef battles. But until then. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here we go. De toi. Boom, and we're back with another episode of Crowded Gamers. This is episode sixty-nine, sixty-eight. Yeah, 69. 69. Oh, a very <laughs> special <laughs> a very special episode indeed. All right, so this is uh, the regularly scheduled podcast. We're talking about four things of the week that we thought were cool, and we dissect them. There was no podcast last week because I was in New York Genoke. State. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I had to remember that. Oh. It's weird how it feels like super long, you know, even though you have like a work week that's shorter – but then, like, if you do, like, a lot of things with, like, activities, mm-hmm. it's, like, everything feels long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, like, my, my brain, like, I was, like, I thought that was, like, a few weeks ago, but it was not because a lot has happened within the week. Oh. All right, so it starts off this. Cool. Got? Uh, Aladdin teaser trailer mm. came out. Oh, it was a teaser. It was in real trailer. That makes sense, actually. No, yeah, because they didn't show like... the one, the blue guy. Oh, yeah, Genie. Yes. Yeah, I, I saw the trailer on, um, how long was the trailer? Not that long. It was like a few seconds or like over a minute? I think it was like a minute. Okay, because I saw, I saw Guy Ritchie's channel, he like posted it, mm-hmm. and he's like, I like the way this looks, but he's the one directing it. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. <laughs> but like I watched but there it was, off his thing. I think I was there like, was, oh, like, again, people were criticizing it too. Yeah, it looks a little like overly animated, sort of like um, Aquaman. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, I, I think it looked heavily animated. I think they were saying it was too... Like, too not animated enough? Was that completely off field? No, something about, like... Like, something about the cave not being too shiny. Okay, relax, bro. With the, all like, the coins. Okay. Uh, gold yeah, and stuff. True, I think, it's like... Because uh, it was, like, the cartoon. Yeah, this is just a teaser, guys. That's true. I'm sure he's going to, like, um, CGI a bunch of gold in there yeah. at the end of it. Well, all right, so what do you think? I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, I, especially the, 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 uh-huh. the music. Yeah, like that's the cool. Aladdin music a little bit more with the orchestra and stuff. Right, 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 right. Bring like, it back. Well, like wasn't Disney movies kind of like orchestral and like their <clears throat> their music at the time was um, it was like not I don't want to say cinematic, but it was like opera ish. Mm-hmm. They were like big extravagant songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you actually look back at all the Disney movies, they yeah, were they all were. like musicals. They were musicals. They were musicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like you don't think about that as a kid. You're not like oh, I'm watching a musical. You're like I'm watching a Disney movie. <laughs> And then all of them seem to have the exact same pattern of music. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know what I mean? Like, you don't think... They, they followed the... You know, now you're older, you're like, oh, it's a musical. Huh. In the 50s, the way they used to do this stuff. So you think there's going to be musicals in this one? Uh, yes. Have you seen uh, the remakes? I don't remakes? know how they're going to do it. Have you seen the remakes of these? I guess... Which one would be the remake? Like, you know, like all these Disney movies? Like Jungle Book? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jungle Book had a... Mowgli looks like a, like a really good one. Yes. Yeah, but... Oh, that, that's not that's not from Disney though. Oh, okay. No, no but I'm saying it's no, a Disney story. Though. I mean, the, the, uh, yeah. the original, the one that came out already is from Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Yeah, that was a musical as well. Did, I had no until I like I didn't really like solidify until this moment oh. actually that you didn't know it's in musicals. Right. Oh, you're until okay. we just said it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah they Anyways, so you're saying? No, yeah. I was like, I didn't really know who the actors are. Playing the different characters. So the Rock's not in it because the Rock's been like uh, posting some stuff was, on Instagram. So his like, name oh. was not on the maybe he's just like list that it up. I saw at least. Maybe he's like just hyping it because he likes Aladdin. Maybe I maybe, don't know. Possibly. Okay, so possibly. so who are the who are the stars so, of the actors? Okay, it's someone I don't know. So it's kind of good they're playing someone who's Middle Eastern. Looks like well, his True. name is okay Masood. Okay, that's Aladdin. Okay, 
Uh, Has he been in any other movies? I have no idea. Okay. He looks like a a no-namer. I mean, like, instead of, instead of, like, picking, like, okay, for instance, instead of picking, like, um... Cal Penn? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, like, at least someone that would fit the demographic. No, no, for sure, yeah. Like, uh, what was that movie, Prince of Persia? Oh, and it was Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad. But yeah, yeah, I like uh, I like Guy Ritchie's style of movies. So yeah, I I, yeah. I really liked um, like he did King uh, Arthur. Right, King Arthur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking Robin Hood for a second there. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks like oh, and then uh, Will Smith as Genie. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting <laughs> choice. Uh, is he gonna be? He's gonna be CGI. It's not gonna look well, right? They're not gonna put him in like. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they make him look like human. Like, oh, bro. I mean, we haven't seen any footage of that, so we don't know. Okay. Right. Yeah. True. And then, so they have, what's her name? Uh, Naomi Scott. As Jasmine. Jasmine. Naomi. Scott. I've heard of her. Yeah, me too. But where, who is she from? Is she British? Yes, she is British. So she's she's playing a Middle Eastern woman as a white lady. Uh, no, she's not white. Oh, I looked that up to make okay. sure because the name is a very white name. Uh, but then uh, she's a mix of, like, her parents are uh, Indian and British. Oh, okay, cool. So it's oh. not really Middle Eastern. She's <laughs> Indian, Indian, half Indian. Well, if it fits, it fits. <laughs> okay, so Naomi Scott, yeah. Yeah, it's Jasmine. And Will, yeah, Will Smith is the genie. Nice. I did and, not. And those are the main ones, and then everyone else is like, meh. I mean. Like all the other actors, like, no names? Yeah, they didn't really show it on the list here. Well, they're probably on the. IMDb will have it, but on the article, they didn't show their names. Okay, cool. But it's just Makes more sense. talking about. Um, uh, the, like, I mean, uh, the criticism was. It's just a dumb criticism. Uh, the movie's not even out yet. Uh, the whole yeah, it's not shiny, that's, <laughs> or that's something kinda, that's, that's something weird dumb. like that. Yeah, like I don't like these ki- types of criticism. You can like you know, I don't think you need to take it as a big deal because it's, it's the movie's not you know yet. It's yeah, still, it's still a while sure. to go, and it's Guy Ritchie. Generally, he makes good movies. So right, right, right. So like, you know, it might fit like the way you liked. Uh, King Arthur, the way I he love did King it. Arthur. It was amazing. Exactly. And the way he did it kind of fit to today's time. Yeah, it was like right? a contemporary take on a right. old classic. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So So we have a lot of trust in Guy Ritchie. Yeah. 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 He hasn't put out any movies that I didn't really like. Mm-hmm. Although he's been hated on for some movies that he's filmed, but I just haven't I haven't seen those, I guess, that the ones that he's hated for. But oh. I love Lockstock. Well actually no no no. no. Take it out. I don't like Lock Sock. I uh, like uh, Snatch. Mm-hmm. Then there's Rock and Rolla. Yeah. Uh, King Arthur was good. He made uh, Layer Cake was amazing. Okay. Was that Guy Ritchie actually? Layer I Cake. Don't know actually. <laughs> it's a good. Is is another gangsterish film. Like I like those. It's similar style. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. similar style. Yeah. yeah, but cool. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that one. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense too, right? This is also like a lot in the low. It's like a thief. The thief yeah, that yeah, becomes yeah. for sure. It's befitting. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. So what's uh what's your second one? Well, the second one. We're going to Tesla. Okay. I'm How surprised. How many times I wasn't in surprised. a row is this? Should have known. Should have known. Yeah. Right. Should have known. Uh. Well, they're. It's uh. So in the U.S., there's a max amount of credit. Okay. Like. To be. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, like the for the for the car, right? Okay, yeah. So the like max. Rebate? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Um. So, it, there's like I mean like the total number of cars that are allowed. Okay. Per company. Okay. And because they started as electric car for from the. <coughs> from the like the beginning. Okay. The total amount of cars is two hundred two hundred thousand cars. Like, what do you mean about that? Like, 200,000? Like, so, 200,000 cars from uh, Tesla are... Rebatable. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the max is 200,000. Okay, okay. After that, uh, I think it drops for, like, a few months. 
if it reaches a certain limit and then it drops again and then no more after that. Okay, I right, understand. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> oh man. Okay, so this could potentially be could potentially hurt it. Hurt it. Hurt Tesla because because uh, Tesla has already reached it. Now the other big car companies are getting into to electric cars. Uh huh. So they're starting with a fresh two hundred thousand. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like during. So it might like um, to dissuade people from buying the Tesla because they won't be able to get their rebates. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So it could potentially, but I'm in. I, I don't know though. Like, <clears throat> really? Maybe. It could. It could. It could. But I don't know. Like, because the they still really good. People will just be like, damn, I should just bought it, or they'll just like delay it till next year. They'll just wait, you know what I mean? Like, customers would wait, I feel. No, 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 what do you mean? No, not per year, this is done. Oh, forever. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. Oh. Like, not 200,000. Interesting. 200,000 oh, in, it's, in its switch. life. Oh, dang. Oh, that's rough. That's what I mean. Okay, that might that might hurt it, actually, yeah. I thought it was just like... No, not a year. Yeah, I was like, okay, just wait till next year. Like, what? Yeah, like, so the... Basically, I think that's if you, at the end of October... If you've made a uh, purchase or whatever, uh-huh. you'll get the, in the U.S. is 7500 Okay. And then next year, it's going to go start at uh, 3500 and then drop in, so it'll be January to June, and then July, it'll drop to uh, 1800 The rebate. The rebate uh, up till okay. end of December. 31st of 2019 mm-hmm. after that no more interesting okay so then like mercedes these honda toyota who haven't even had well, any electric cars technically if 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 uh elon musk is serious about just getting people <clears throat> to have electric cars then that's that's a good thing like it's, it's it, it wouldn't matter to him about the rebate no uh what like like if he no not to him want... it's it's to the consumer who's buying the car no no of course but if yeah i understand i understand so like if for him the rebate isn't there anymore but other people are still buying electric cars like his his oh i see what you mean the mission of the mission mission. he just wants people to have electric cars right i mean yeah i remember that time when he released the yeah the the the, the, uh, schematics or whatever patents yeah Yeah. exactly yeah yeah yeah. so it's like boom yeah yeah no no i know i'm saying i'm saying generally uh, as as the company yeah, about. of course. Yeah, well, I mean the vision company, of having electric cars. But see, that's yeah. why you just have to get, have a good car. Exactly. So exactly, yeah. and I think I th- I think the other thing is they've also built the system, the charging stations. Right. right that right, is right. also a way to kind of persuade them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. yeah. And like the gas station, it's like yeah, well, gas cars don't get a rebate, so it's like who cares? No, I know. Yeah, yeah. no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, but they they've run that kind of model. For oh a yeah, while, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. I'm, I'm no, sure. I'm saying like for. The end user, of course, of course. Sure, but if you end really end. want the Tesla, just you will get the Tesla, not because of a rebate. Like I don't think people are buying a Tesla because of the rebate. Uh, well, the thirty five hundred one, yes. I mean, the other cars are kind of already expensive. Right. So no, the but, ones you're buying it already have. Some but money I don't know. It. If it came down for me, I'd be like, yeah. I'd re- I'd rather have the good technology. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll get the Tesla over like the. the yeah, but I mean, if yeah, but like if both are doing electric. It's gonna have similar sort of stuff. Yeah, right? so I think and, and I think more. This is like this is geared towards um, general, a, a like no, 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 like like a target end consumer that's more pragmatic. You know what I mean? Like yeah, they, yeah, this yeah, would yeah. affect this would affect them. That's it what I'm saying. Really but most of them, the majority, most of, yeah, yeah, but most of them are that. Really, you think so? Uh, yeah. The people that buy Teslas. No, 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 no. I mean, most of the, most of the, the consumers are like that. So the, most of the people that buy. By um, they electric will, cars are the pragmatic type that won't even think like oh it's a Tesla as compared to because I mean Tesla's other features that the pragmatic person can deal with like like the the um, because there's no 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 I'm saying like like when Honda does it it's it's a bigger company a bit more trusted of course of course of course but like has it you but know if if we're like looking at the practicalities of it it's like yeah okay a rebate but how is the car performing overall <laughs> so if you have no engine then the entire thing is structurally secured so you're safer in an accident. Like one of those features, right? Yeah, but that would be done to the same thing. With for the, the new car? 
for, for any electric other cars. cars. Right, for any electric car, but who's doing it the best is what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, like Honda can do it. They can copy it, but, but who's doing it the best? You know, it's like... No, it's, but they, I'm saying that they have the... Okay, if there was no rebate and you have an iPhone... Okay, the there, phone. there's other, other aspects too. Like, for instance, with Tesla, they don't have the knowledge like Honda does in manufacturing. For sure, for sure. But and so I, are you going to wait three months for a car right, or but, are you going to wait it like... But what, what I equate it to is if, you, if you're like doing apples to apples, so it's like an iPhone versus a Samsung, what would you choose? It's like, well, I prefer the iPhone's features. I, I still... So. Yeah, but I think, um, I, I think that there's not enough... People who are actually interested in the product? They don't know about Tesla. I don't know. I, I really... It, it, I I'm, I'm telling you, they no, because, don't know about because, Tesla. Because, a lot of people don't know about Tesla. No, no, but right. if you go into, that's why their main job is not selling to you, it's educating to you. Because when we went in, it's like they didn't. No, want no, no. To I know, like I know. But Tesla I'm saying that they don't know about Tesla. So if you look at Honda, they'll know Honda. The name, I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, but so have, the people but are going to go towards what they're advertising. Used to. No, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like yeah, yeah. I don't think it's I'm saying at the current position. But I don't think it. And I said it might. I don't. Doesn't mean it will. I don't think it'll affect it at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because, like, it's it's like an iPhone versus Samsung. It's like the people that are going to get the Samsung are going to get the Samsung either way. It doesn't matter about the rebate, you know? Yeah, yeah, even if Even if Samsung was like, bro, I'll give you a rebate, don't buy an iPhone. I'd yeah. be like, no, but I need the iPhone I because think, of the features, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like I trust the iPhone better than this other thing. Mm -hmm. I think that's what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I, I, I think they'll be totally fine. Right. Yeah, for sure. For me, uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. even it's though we don't have one, even though we don't have it in Canada anymore or Ontario, I'm still gonna buy. It. See, I didn't even know that there was a rebate. I just assumed that you had to buy it for what it was worth. I, I honestly didn't know there was a rebate. Oh no, I, I think everyone that I know knows about the rebate. Yeah, but see, like I'm, I'm a part of that other consumer. And I think I I'm mean, sure my dad doesn't even know that there's a rebate. Like, if I was like, hey, do you want to get a Tesla? Like, well, I heard but Tesla rebate. tells you though. But I, I didn't know. No, I know, so I know, saying, but Tesla I, would tell you. No, no, for sure, right, right but that when I go in, yeah. but from the perception alone and what I've heard about the Tesla, it's like, okay, I, I'd get a Tesla, right? Just like him, he's like, oh, Tesla's a good car, in his head. Mm -hmm. So he's not thinking, like, you get a rebate out of it. It's just an added bonus when I go in, but it wasn't the decision maker in your purchasing choice. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I knew. Somehow I knew. Hey, that's what I'm saying. It's like because, but you, you're a Tesla fan, right? I'm not. I like it. I'm not. A, I'm not like. I don't need to know everything. But you didn't know it. any. Like, yeah, again. But it was, you know, like who told you about the Tesla? Someone who you, knew about. Yeah, the Tesla, like right? you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but then then it's like but then you get to know more about it through yeah, like yeah. what you search it and stuff, and it's yeah. like the like what I think is like the the economic factor is not winning anymore maybe that's like an old tactic when we were like younger because like nobody could google stuff and nobody can like you know it's like it's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like why did you buy the honda well i heard it was good you couldn't actually do the research behind it now we can do the research so it's like okay if it came down to like similarly priced cars but one's got a better rebate mm. i i would through the research i'd be like well this is obviously superior car you know I still think people want the less if, money. If, if, if you have two of them for thirty five hundred and you, you, Google it and you're like, well, this is the superior car. I don't think they're gonna be dissuaded by a rebate. Yeah, but if it's the same kind of car. No, no, a, a far superior car. If Tesla's not like any other car on the market. No, I know, and I'm just saying. I'm saying yeah. But when they make those electric cars, it'll be the same kind of car. Same kind of car in terms of it electric. being electric. Yeah. But not in terms of its features. Uh, that's why I said yeah, yeah, Samsung. Yeah, that's why yeah, I said yeah. Samsung and an yeah, iPhone. Yeah. They're their phones. They're smartphones. Yeah. But one's got way better features. One's connected to Apple Music. One you have to download Spotify. And you could still download. Actually, Spotify you can use and... Apple Music too. Oh really? On Android. Yeah. Oh okay. And that's a new feature though. No, it's been there since it since started. Uh, since it started, like yeah. Oh okay. Well, whatever. But the <laughs> the um, the ecosystem of the iPhone is something you can't you can't airdrop no, no, no. Samsung no. to. No, they have other things, but yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, the iPhone I believe is a far superior than any other Android phone, because <laughs> what do you got like Samsung, right. Sony? Right. Does yeah. Sony even make smartphones? It's the Samsung. Uh, it's Samsung versus iPhone. It is Samsung versus exactly. IPhone. So it's like, but then the Samsung. But Google even does make their own phones too. 
but those phones aren't even like like with the iPhone it's like a standard iPhone it's like they're all going to be pretty much similar so you know what you're going to get but Samsung phones vary in difference right there's the HTC right and then they yeah, have yeah. other like other versions of it yeah, yeah. but yeah but so it's really HTC <clears throat> versus iPhone you can't really say Samsung versus I don't even iPhone. think it's HTC anymore it, that was what I'm saying so it's like the, the Android's got a bunch of different things <laughs> And yeah. the reason why people didn't buy Android, <coughs> the reason why people bought Android over iPhone is because they want different features than the iPhone people. Yeah. So I think that's why I think rebates don't really matter. This rebate thing will not affect them. We'll see. We'll see, but I'd be like shocked to be like, well, these people are making terrible purchasing decisions. <laughs> if they're the I same think people price, do, it's like that's that's kind of dumb. It's like look what look what more you get. Well, you know yeah. Well, like, you have to, kind of like, why, uh, you have to spend, see. You have to see what they bucks. do, right? You have to see. I don't know what. Like uh, that'd Honda be like, that'd, do. that'd be like buying a, a T-shirt for twenty dollars, and then one was made like really <laughs> poorly, and one was made with uh, with like freaking satin and yeah. stuff. And then they're like, "Well, which one do you want?" Well, if they're the same price, I'm gonna get the better one. Why would you get the crappier one? Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> All right. You dead? That was that one. Yeah. All right, so speaking of shockers, like this Tesla one, because we're shocked that Vish brought up Tesla again. Oh, we, I we, did we not, are? I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. We are shocked. Sure. Uh, but what we kind of did expect was the mauling received. What? Mauling put forth by Khabib. Oh, uh, on topic. Connor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. you saw UFC 229. I, I did. saw some highlights. Some I did. I don't know. Highlights. I shouldn't. I don't think I should I say where I saw say. it. But, yeah. <laughs> yes, allegedly. I just throw that out there, but yeah. So, what what do you think of it? The fight? Uh, was, I don't know. What do or... you think of the whole thing? Like, all right. So, the big controversy is that could be ran out of the cage. Oh, right. the end end controversy. No, no. You could talk about the fight as well, because I'm gonna talk about that as well. Oh, and I mean, so so stylistically, I mean, I'm sure there's better experts out there if course. you want to talk about. But we're actual, consumers of it. Yeah. So, we, from we a consumer perspective, really. uh, we're gonna like focus on that one. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, uh, what did what you think as a consumer? Like, a I mean, he got fan. he got mauled. I mean, I kind of enjoy seeing that. I did too. <laughs> and and when I was watching the thing, you could see on Connor's face he was done. Oh yeah. And I was like, oh yeah. Oh no, <sighs> like he was broken, like yeah. body, will. And then so th- all right, the thing that got me is like UFC put out this highlight. It's still on their Instagram feed. They they do like so Khabib talks when he fights. Same with Connor too. So they do like in I saw in that. fight audio. Yeah. And oh. It, so, so I didn't they, hear anything, but yeah. So yeah, yeah. They, you saw the talking, but like in the USC thing, they like amplify the the dialogue. Okay. So uh, you see you see Connor just being like beaten up, and then uh, the whole time Khabib's like, "Let's talk now, let's talk now." And then at one point, I guess it was like round three when Connor was done, he's like, "Hey, it's just only business." Oh no. He was like, he was destroyed. He's like, "It's only oh, business." Oh my god. And then, and then Khabib's like, "Oh yeah, talk now, talk now." Then you know he's like, "Oh jeez." Like that that made me feel like because like. It's almost like you found out how the magic trick worked. Right. You know, like this whole time you're like, oh, Connor's man of his word, he's going to fight, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying he's not a man of his word, but it's like when Khabib was like, he's a, he's a born chicken. Like when, when the chips are down, you'll see what his true character is. Mm-hmm. And then seeing that was like, like let's, you shouldn't have said that in the fight, though. Like, it's only <laughs> business. So you hide that off camera. But he was just so broken that his, his honesty came out. Yeah. He was just like, go easy, bro. Like. It's it's only business. You're, you're beating me up way too hard right now. Oh my god! And then I just saw this video of this guy who was saying the reason why it could be ran out is because like he took it so personally, and the savagery within that fight yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. to his no no but the savagery wasn't to his liking. He wanted to destroy Connor like really beat him up. No, I know. And his yeah. adrenaline was still going. He's like, yeah 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 yeah. That's why he fought. He ran after the other guy and like etc. I know. Yeah, he was like when they when he. Uh... What's the word? When he tapped out? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was like, no, I'm not shaking your hand. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. And then, and then, yeah, and then he did the whole, like, up, up, get out, like, got outside the cage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I thought, uh, like, I thought that was a little, I, I mean. All right, wait, wait, hold on, wait. This is gonna, that's going to lead into part two of my, uh, okay, my okay, part two of my okay, questions. Okay, this is right. like a two-part, is my right. two topics. Right. So, um. Let's just stick to it oh. for for a bit. Yeah, so you thought, like... But, like, don't diverge too far into psychology, because <laughs> that's going to be part two, but... Okay, okay, okay. Um, but, yeah, you were saying? No, I mean, I, I enjoyed it, <laughs> the fight. Just seeing, like, 
every round was domination. Do- yeah. Yeah. Like, um, like I mean, he he does what he's good at, right? Which was the ground game. Yeah, for sure, and for sure. And it's like you, what they said is going to be like it's a fifty fifty. Either you're going to watch. It's not going to go the distance. Either you're going to watch one person who's really good at distance management yeah. take out a grappler, or the grappler is going to destroy the person who doesn't. But I mean, know how to he, he even got a good hit on him, a, a really good punch. I, I know he even got the haymaker punch. Uh, yeah, was like, that's the first time he so, saw. It. But then other people were saying like, "Oh, it's not the best Connor they've seen." Blah, blah, blah. But it's like, it's like it should, it should be the best. I mean, it's not the best Connor. Or. It's the same Connor. Yeah. Exactly. 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 If if he had won, people wouldn't have been like, "Oh, that was his, not him." I mean, and what it's do you like, mean, what? best Connor? Best Connor is when he wins. But it's, that's what I'm saying. So it's like that's still that's like a biased thing. Yeah. You know? I, there is no best you except the you. That's this moment. <laughs> yeah. right now is the best you. Exactly. Has to be. Um, but yeah, the uh, I thought it was really good, and I liked. Oh, I was watching this other stuff, like, at the interview, when mm-hmm. he was like, oh, guys, I'm sorry about this, but I know my father's going to smash me. Yeah, yeah right? I saw that. I so, think. and I was like, I was like, what does that mean? And then throughout the oh, whole Oh, you didn't week, know what it meant? No, you didn't beat him up. Oh. Of course, yeah. He's like, discipline him. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. But then I was, no, I knew that what that meant, but oh. I was like, but what, what does that really mean? Oh. You know what I mean? Like, what, what does I, that I, I was just laughing because that's wrong use of words. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound good. But, but that's what he says when he beats I know, you. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because he's so, not, he's not from here. So yeah, I'm for a, sure. I was just, it was just my own like, fun thing to laugh at. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Yeah, uh, lost in translation. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so I was watching this stuff because I was like, okay, like, what does he mean by that? You know, how far is this going to go? And then I saw this other thing of like. Um, uh, an interview by his father that was like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put like the sanctions on mm-hmm. UFC. The sanctions that UFC put on him is nothing to what I'm about to do to him." And I was like, "Oh, damn!" <laughs> oh, and then, okay. and then there was a That's interview funny. with uh, there's like a meeting with Putin and Khabib and his father. Yeah. And then Putin's like, "I'm gonna ask my your father to like go easy on you." <laughs> and then like they're all laughing. And I'm like, "What does this like? What does this mean?" Right. Uh-huh. And then I was watching. Um, like Khabib's backstory, like I was doing a deeper dive because I was impressed. Oh. And um, so when he was a kid, so this is going to segue into part two okay. right now. Yeah. Uh, so when he was a kid, he was treated very militantly. Yeah. So like it, where they're from, his dad was like, they're like, oh, when people are trained by their father, you got to ask, what did your father do? So his, mm. his father was like a judo, sambo, and uh, some other fight wrestling oh judo sambo and wrestling yeah uh champion okay uh he was um army guy mm-hmm. he so like what he did is like because there was terrorism at that time oh like, in, in their area because okay. like um like khabib grew up during that terrorist time like when they were being terror like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, overthrown or whatever yeah and then uh uh his father uh created eagles mma where uh you he would take all the boys and then he would make them like like military soldiers yeah uh in order to discipline them and keep them away from trouble not to like show them in child soldiers but to like enforce discipline and like keep you off the street Mm -hmm. you know so like and then there's videos of khabib like before this fight when people were doing like uh biopics on him he was saying how like when you get out of line in those military days like you'd be beaten like that was your punishment okay and then like and then like he's like oh like even now like you don't want to get out of line from father because mm. like he will he will beat you you know <laughs> and then like watching that video where he's like oh i know my father's gonna smash me and then mm. everyone's like you probably like got beaten up <laughs> just, like, just <laughs> discipline right yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. my my uh my thought is like how how like your environment truly shapes you mm-hmm. you know through life like when they say like nature versus nurture i know it's like both but like it's interesting how much of a divergence your upbringing can create on your entire trajectory of your life right you know because like like watching all that stuff and like and i watched another biopic of like him living in the mountains so the reason why his nickname's the eagle because they're like oh we can't pronounce your name in usa it was too long so that you need a nickname so he chose Eagles because the mountain village he grew up in is called the Eagle. Oh, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all that programming built you up to be, like, a, a war machine. 
So right. so now let's circle back on UFC 229. You have you have someone talking smack, but all like all about business at the heart of it, and then you have one person that's not talking, but like you're taking it very seriously. Mm-hmm. So it's like all right, let's jump back to that jumping out of the ring thing. It's like was that too far? Like well, now you can psychoanalyze it on your. Yeah, I think uh, it's not about going too far. I just think it was out of character. It was, it was out of character, for sure, for sure. But it's like he was so troubled by what McGregor said, and he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him face his words. Because where he's from, that's what you would do, right? Like actually face the thing, right? Yeah. And like I was watching... Uh, I, I just think, yeah, but it's not like that here. It's, that's what I'm, I'm going to get but at. It's so, so it's interesting to think about. So like... Uh, so yeah, you're like it's not like that here. So when I was watching this video of like uh, when he was trained as a kid, they were showing like kid photos of him. Mm-hmm. He had like knives and guns, and then yeah. uh, his father was saying like I don't train them for like the actual ring. I train them that the fight's gonna be in the street, you know. Uh, so so like with the Khabib thing, when he was saying to Connor like just tell me where you are, yeah, they knew he was serious. It's like literally just tell me where you are because I will fight in the street. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of fighters will say that, like, oh, it doesn't matter where yeah. we are, we'll fight in the but he's like actually built to oh. do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's where Connor knew. <laughs> like you're dealing like I saw um a tweet that was very like telling, where it was like, Don't play gangster when you're talking to a real gangster. Like because okay. Connor is like talking like all this, but like Khabib, through his upbringing, and his like, he doesn't know that that's not Western culture. To run into the ring, we're like, oh, but it's just like it's just should be just in the fight game. It's just business, blah blah, right? But, but I think him, it like, would have been a more thing. like because uh, what he said at the end too, right? Like he wants to change the style, for sure, right? Of course, of course. So the only way to do that is by not doing what he had done. For sure, for sure. That's what I thought. For sure, for sure. But I think it was more of a clash of cultures and like belief systems versus an actual fight fight you know what i mean this was not sportsman like conduct because connor did start it right he brought up like religion family and country but you anything goes though in those uh, it was the first time it's ever been said anything goes in that thing though if, that's what i'm saying yeah anything goes for sure but it's the first time that it was pushed to that level i was watching other like people talk about it and like connor was the first one to, like bring it really uh, i guess that one guy brought it personal but like Connor with his big stage, he's like he's well, the some first guy one did to make before, or? yeah. But he was like a lower level stage, like this guy Colby but coming. That's to what him. I'm saying. There was like no as, rules of these sort of things. You can say whatever you want. Exactly, exactly. But now, now you're seeing the ramifications of like but allowing you're, rules. You're only doing that. Well, UFC wants that. It's just to create hype. It, it, that's what I'm saying. But see, yeah. see, yes, from a Western perspective, yeah. right? But in like that's why they always talk about Pride versus UFC because in Pride, um, so like in UFC. They're like American fans will be like bleed, 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 right? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but uh, in in like Japan, when things would happen, they'd like clap. They'd be silent for the fight. They wouldn't be shouting. They'd like watch it for its like actual value. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's why two different cultures are so dissimilar. So when I watch these like these throwbacks of like um, Khabib in his home country. It's like that is that is the you that you've built the world to be, and then you go into these different worlds, yeah, and you're yeah. like, "This is so weird to me." But he knew and himself that guys... he did wrong too. Though. He did, he did, because he shouldn't have done that. But yeah. like, but I get that from his point of view. But I mean, he he knew he did something like, wrong. One hundred percent, yeah, of course, because it's like you shouldn't like out of sportsman like conduct. But I'm saying, yeah. like the rules and the cultures are different wherever you go. And yeah, but, but, that, I, but that's not even on like a. But to say that if gay, but but to do that and then saying and to not know that he had done something wrong, I can understand. No, okay, but no, to no, know no, that no. he did something right, wrong. Right, right, right. We're, we're, we're not picking on the action. What I'm I'm going okay. for like a grand, like a more overview. Okay. And what what I'm saying is like that we we've built up these perspectives of how life should be according to where we've lived, right? I, I know. But then, but we have to realize these are not overarching all over the world yeah that's fine right right and, and it's like but but to believe that it is it puts you in the predicament of being so nearsighted but that's how a lot of our our lives are run but, 
Yeah, it depends, even on the, yeah, but it even depends on the where you are, scale. right? It depends where yeah, you are. That's what I'm saying. Exactly, exactly, so exactly. So the fight's here, and this is a U.S. thing. A hundred percent. So right. Oh, so, okay, so what you're saying is you so should you, always be adaptable to the situation. Yeah, yeah. I, I think if, if it was in some other Sorry. place and they had rules that you can't talk about religion, then you can't talk about religion. Right, no, no, no. All right, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. That's but, what I'm like, um, like, I, I like think when, in when other people, countries they would do that. In, when people in positions of power... So, okay, I say from their perspective, they're like, okay, well, you're in our home court. So you have to respect our rules, right? But they're not yeah. being open-minded enough to be adaptable to everyone's, like, inclusive enough. Who, who, right, because they should have been like, oh, well, Connor, you shouldn't talk about that stuff. The UFC. No, but that's not the rules in the UFC, though. I know, but that, what I'm saying so is... So, like, like, I'm that, saying, like, if something else I was in what, where he's from... Right, right, no, no, but what I'm saying is how when positions right. of power are built off of a narrow-pointed view, that's where you get into the predicaments of what we are in today. Yeah, I mean, I think you should know what the rules are in the country you're fighting in. Right, right. But the problem with the person in positions of power being nearsighted, we should we should expand the viewpoints that we have to understand all, and then, especially if you're in a position of power, well, I think then if it's... adapt accordingly, like like be what? be as inclusive as possible. Like, um, uh, do you get know what I'm saying? I yes, uh, but I don't think I necessarily agree. Okay, so explain. What you well, if this is oh, this is supposed to be freedom of speech, you, anything is uh, okay. Talk about anything is can be wrong. So then, so then, in that, yeah. if if that are the case, then we should not have, um, we should not have such a power structure to to limit us. Uh, to limit us in that, uh, in what it is we can and cannot do. I'm saying like rules. If like so, society is built off of the structure of the one in charge. Okay. If you're in power, you can say the rules. Okay. Right, but to know that you're ignorant, then it's hard to say any rules, because then the biggest bully is always going to win. What do you mean? I just, right. I'm talking about freedom of speech here. What? Freedom of speech is a piece of the rules. What I'm saying is yeah. like the rule. So, right, so if, you if can the make person, those rules no, within what, what, UFC. What, what, no, no, no. All right, no, no. But but it's not. No, no. You're, all right, so, so you're, you're still thinking about UFC, but I'm saying like out like so think of governments now because the same rules apply, right? The one with the biggest stick is going to get to say the rules, right? Government gets to say what's right and wrong. UFC gets to say what's right and wrong within what they're organizing. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is the one that's making the rules will always be ignorant because it's from their point of view unless you step outside of your point of view okay and then see other perspectives then there almost be like no rules well i think freedom of speech is looking at all perspectives but even to have the freedom of speech yeah is allowed is accepting by the one no no is allowed them. by the one in power yeah. Because there's even there's even limits to freedom of speech, right? There's like freedom of speech and then there's uh, ho hostile or something. Hate like, speech? Hate speech, yeah, that's the one, yeah. yeah. So it's like, well, what's the differentiation there? What I'm saying is all rules were created by somebody who was in a position of power. Okay, yeah, but I don't, I don't see what you're trying to say, like, again, about, about Khabib. I don't no, I'm not talking about Khabib. Okay. This is general. That's why I said it's like you're still looking at the Khabib thing, but I'm like, I'm, okay. I'm left the Khabib thing now. Okay. What I'm saying is, like, uh, we're, societally, we've developed rule structures. Okay. I'm just using Khabib as an example. Like, yeah. him being like, you shouldn't do that, but UFC being like, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. And then him acting out. Yeah. That's, like, that's the, the exact same as, like, uh, occupy Wall Street. You shouldn't be so corrupt. Oh, but the legal system's built like that, so we can do these loopholes. And then the people are like, "Well, f that. I'm going to protest." So, no, protesting that's... is like Khabib jumping out of the ring and being like, "I'm going to get what I." No, want. no, 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 no. That's not protesting. No, no, it's not protesting. He jumped out, went after a guy. That's what I'm saying. You. You're... That's not protesting, though. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's actual protesting. I'm saying it's like you're acting out. You're, you're protesting. Yeah, is a yeah. Reaction. I know he's Protacti acting out. I yeah, know. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's not actually protesting, but I'm saying it's it's like protesting because protesting is you're acting out in order to exert I know, what I know, it is I you know. want. But I. That's why there should be consequences for what he did. But what I'm saying is, the one in power 
is the one who always gets to stay the rules. So if so, they're they're putting consequences on him, right? Okay. Because that's that's the one in power is saying I'm going to put consequences. Yeah. But what if we're in like a different country where they're like no consequences because we believe you should be able to do that. Because they're the ones in charge yeah, yeah, yeah. now, right? Yeah, yeah. So exactly. Okay, you're following me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, but because humans by nature are personally biased and nearsighted because they're never thinking about other people's perspectives then you will always get the one with the biggest stick making all the rules there really are no rules rules are an illusion by a person who's in power yeah freedom of speech has no rules but the fact that you can have freedom of speech is a rule set by a person in a position of power no freedom of speech has no rules but the fact that you can do freedom of speech okay. is allowed by a person in a position of power. What I'm saying is like all of this is an illusion. We're like freedom of speech, no freedom of speech, jumping no, out no, of the no, ring, no, not no. jumping out of the ring. What's, it's all what's illusion. An, I don't understand. Like, because because they're in, in Canada, we're allowed yeah. freedom of speech. Yeah. Right? But in other countries, you're not allowed freedom of speech. Okay. So there is no real... Uh, correct answer here. It's just the one in the position of power gets to make whatever rule they want. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. It's an illusion. So I'm, I'm all I'm saying is you should know what, what, what country you're in and what you're allowed to do. And that's yeah, you know, 100. percent No, oh, no, I'm okay. not saying you're wrong about that. Oh, okay. I, what I'm saying is that it's an illusion. So was he right and wrong in this? It's like it depends on whatever well, you, it point was, of view you're looking at. That's yeah. why for me, I was like, no, I totally understand it. So no, like, for me, it. it's, it's the point of view he's in America. You can't do exactly. that. Exactly. No, no, I'm not. I'm not yeah, then you're correct. Okay. You're correct. <laughs> that's all. Right? But what I'm yeah. saying is that even that's an illusion. What do you mean? Uh, because. I'm saying he's just, he, this is the yeah, rules of America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. At, the, at the core of it, the rules of America are an illusion created by some guy that feels yeah, right course. and wrong about something. Yeah. Which is a biased perspective because his, his bias is influencing the rules of the country. Yeah, and then, yeah, so there'll be the opposite bias too. Yeah. Right? Uh, what do you mean opposite bias? You can either have bias or not have bias. No, I'm, I'm just saying and for Khabib's ca- uh, case. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why it's all an illusion. He thinks he's right. They think he's wrong. Well, he knows he's wrong. But in the moment, he did it because he wanted to no, do it. No, I understand it's in the correct. moment. I understand yeah. in the but moment. But then he's like, oh, foresight shows me it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, but it... what I'm saying is like these, these dialogues... No, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, that... I'm not saying that these things don't happen. No, all I'm saying. I'm is, not saying people say. No, no. All I'm saying is that it's all an illusion. Yeah, of course everything's an illusion. Yeah. Yeah. So like the whole like nature versus nurture thing, it's right to break to circle yeah, back. Yeah. It your environment shaping you. You're just buying into the illusion. Yeah. So it's like, is it nature versus nurture? And it's like, well, it. it I I believe it's like. It is your nature because you have your tendencies, but then nurturing, like your environment, mm-hmm. is what illusion are you wanting to believe in? Because genetically, we're all the same, you know? Like they're Genetic, saying, like yeah. 500 years ago, you could take a person from 500 years ago, put them in today, there's no genetic difference. It's just the culture that they lived in, yeah, it's the culture. illusion that they chose to believe in. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's, it's not real. Nothing's real. That, totally. Well, there are things that supersede reality where it's like a tree, is it real or not? Well, the concept of a tree is an illusion because it's you're creating, but is it physically there? It's it doesn't need to fall into a category. It just is there. Yeah. So it's it's that's not an illusion, is what I'm saying. Our concept of a tree is an illusion, but the tree itself is devoid of the illusion. It doesn't care if you think it's there yeah, or not. Yeah, it's yeah. just there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a nice digression. So, I guess don't fall for illusions. Yeah, but we're all dreaming. I don't think we can. <laughs> but we're all dreaming anyway. Yeah, I don't think so, we can. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the world would be a better place if we realized the illusions that we're seeing. We're like, wait, hold on. I believe this, but this is also not real. You believe this, but it's also not real. So, why are we arguing? Because it's fun. That's, yeah, that's true. And we'll leave it at that. Play video games, everyone. I like seeing that stuff. Oh, I actually, sorry, sorry. This reminded me. Um, so last last quick segue, uh, last night we were all hanging out, and it reminded me of like schools are kind of like 
like school time is kind of like jobs like your job is like a classroom because when we were hanging out last night with everyone it's like oh it's like what class did you take today oh i took this and like all right forget about that we're just gonna watch youtube together you know what i mean it's like how when we, when we were kids yeah you know like it was yeah jobs are like classrooms uh, like you have to do the assignment you gotta be there for a certain amount of time and then you go home hang out with your friends nothing changes it's all cyclical uh yeah sure that makes sense jobs are like classrooms think about it you take auto in school and then you work for an auto body shop when you're older you haven't left the classroom I mean you're not learning anymore well I mean not technically you're learning by doing you're doing the assignments basically you're just doing assignments yeah yeah it's, it's crazy anyways I believe I believe we don't change I believe that when you're a kid what you like to do it was your purest form, so you just keep searching. For well, that. I mean, the influences since when you were a kid will stay with you. That's true. All right, till next time. Play video games. Have fun. Yes. Daisy. Peace. Bye.